Hello. Today we have this uh, little cat on uh, the table, sedated on the table. It's called Mouse. He has been here for a week already and he's receiving every day some medicated cleaning of this wound on uh, literally underneath his, uh, his, uh, his tail. This wound is um, due to a ruptured abscess with uh, the majority of the skin all in this area that literally dropped off uh, dead and uh, a, an important amount of, of uh, uh, purulent discharge, so pus, came out this wound and the wound was really infected. This little one is on uh, uh, antibiotics and anti-inflammatories but the wound needs to be medicated every day. The lesion is too big to be completely stitched up and close together so what we are doing is uh, we are changing the medicated dressing every day and we are applying a medication called Manuka Honey to reduce the bacterial growth and uh, speed up the healing process so we can uh, at some point reduce the size of the wound and uh, stitch the margins together and uh, close completely the, the wound. As I said, the cat has been here for a week already, so every day um, he has been put under sedation because the, the area is very sensitive and the wound is uh, very painful. What we do is uh, we clean the area first with some iodine solution and we try to remove all the necrotic tissue as much as we can without uh, damaging the, uh, the area even further. It looks a lot better than it was a few days ago. Once the area is cleaned, we apply the Manuka honey. The Manuka honey is nothing else than honey, so with a high concentration of sugar, which reduces the osmolarity on the, on the wound itself. In, uh, in um, basically, in other words, we are putting a solution full of sugar to reduce the oxygen and make the environment nasty for the bacterial growth and to speed up the healing process. Uh, on top of the, of the Manuka honey, we will put a swab that will be attached to the area by a suture material which uh, will go through these uh, tiny loops we made with uh, nylon to anchor the swab and keep it on for 24 hours. The wound will be assessed tw every 24 hours, day by day, and then when it will be small enough, will be completely stitched up. Okay. So I'm going to apply the Manuka honey straight on the, on the wound. I'm going to put a thin layer that covers the entire wound and uh, I'm going to put a swab on top of it and then use the suture material to keep the swab in place and we're going to change the swab tomorrow that's it, the wound is completely covered in manuka honey now then I'm going to take the sterile swab One of them is enough, and I'm going to cover the wound like that. Using the nylon, I'm going to let the nylon pass through the loops uh, I made all around the, the surgical wound. Okay, and I'm going to press and ligate basically the swab against the wound this way. So for the next 24 hours this is what's going to happen. The swab is going to stay attached to the wound and cover the wound and leave the Manuka honey in contact with uh, the lesion.